Hi guys, it's me, Rebecca Robeson with Robeson Design in San Diego, California. Guess what's going on behind me? I am getting ready for a huge thing. Well, it's actually Christmas 2017, and the next design session is going to be on preparing for Christmas. Behind this plastic thing in my own living room is Oscar and Alex, and they are painting my built-ins white. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, already it looks so well. Oh man, this is strong in here, guys. Previously on Robes and Design, I have shown you the master suite, the living room, dining room, the kitchen, family room, and this absolutely magnificent outdoor living space in Del Mar, California. For today's reveal, I'm gonna take you and show you some of the more, well, commonly overlooked spaces in a house. What's that? It's an entryway, a hallway, the most beautiful, magnificent staircase, thanks to these two that they, yeah, is it not an incredible staircase? Yes. Stay tuned and watch this video because you're gonna love how we transformed these connecting spaces. Welcome yeah. to your new home. Wow. This is the entryway to this home and we put in, I designed this door, amazing new front door. It's actually metal, pretty cool, with ribbed glass. This is very much like the door that I have in my own office, where we have this really cool horizontal line. You'll also see in the other areas of the house that we replaced all the doors as well, the interior doors, and we kept that horizontal paneling look. So there is a connection between all of the doors in the house. We bought this at Furniture Land South. The client was with me and she fell in love with it as well. It's also a great place for the client to store candles, additional decanters and vases and just things that she would use for entertaining. Look at this gorgeous painting. We got this at a gallery in La Jolla and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's an original. <laughs> We've got this guy, I, he's a shot disc footer thing. The shade is like a double shade. There's one on the inside. This one on the outside is like sheer. So you sort of get that ethereal see-through look. But I think all in all, this is a very impressive entry. Take a look at this. This is one of the details that I just think is so cool. Now, this has always been a problem and challenging column for our clients, and I'll tell you why. When I was here before, this was tile on this floor. There was hardwood down there, but this baseboard came around here, but see how it steps down? What do you do with baseboard like that? Take a look at the photos of what they did before. So here was my idea. I don't like it when they go like this and they seem to just miss each other. I like it when baseboard looks consistent all the way around. So my idea, drop it to the floor, but keep this line consistent. That actually made for 11 inch tall baseboard on the inside of the living room. And the reason I thought I could get away with that is because we've got like 14 foot ceilings in here and we could, we could stand to have some tall baseboard. I think it made a huge difference and it looks really amazing. Now this stairwell area was a problem for me when I first got here. If you take a look at the before pictures, you'll see that it felt, it was very rounded, which is cool, a round staircase, I like those. But it was, felt very pinched to me, and I wanted, to, I wanted it to feel more luxurious and open. So my idea was to pull the wall around. I actually added this drywall column here. This did not used to be here but there was one on this side and I felt like, well, it gave me a spot that I could put this paneling in and have it die into this drywall. We also took out the existing wood hand railing and I designed this railing and uh, Luis made it for me. This is all painted wood. And then we kept the first uh, step here. We made it larger than it was before and we stained it a wood stain color to match the floor, and the rest is carpet, so it's not quite so loud. Let's go up and take a look at the hallway at the top. So coming up this staircase is kind of a pleasure, to be honest with you. This railing that Luis did feels so good on the hand. I love 
love this light fixture, don't you? I chose a very neutral color for the walls up here. This is where they wanted to have their family photo gallery. It was very important. We changed all the door heights to seven foot six up here and their five panel doors. Had these beautiful frames that are in a nice dark, uh, almost espresso walnut color. Uh, triple matted the photos and they are made so that you can take the pictures out from behind and change them with time, which is kind of a cool thing. Well, if you're gonna do white painted wood, right? White doors and white base mold and even sometimes crown molding. When do you do stained wood? Well, I've got a stained wood door right there. Why I did it was because that's the master bedroom. Do you see this linear pattern? How the doors have the linear pattern with the panels? And I did it here as well, only in glass. So all of these elements kind of come together and create what would otherwise be kind of a, a connection space. A lot of people don't put that much thought into their stairwell or their hallway at the top of the stairs. But I promise you, if you do, you can come up with something pretty nice. So that's it for those connecting spaces. But I have a bonus room for you. Not actually a bonus room, but it's one I like to include in a video like this because it doesn't really belong to anyone. It belongs to everyone, and that is let me show you the brand new, well before I do, let me show you the old original powder room and how it turned out. Wow. Rebecca, this is unbelievable. Is this the room that's gonna make you cry? Come on. This powder room actually was a full bath before we made it into a powder room. It had a shower in it, a very small vanity, and a typical toilet. The problem was the shower didn't work and no one had used it for about 12 years. And I said to them, do you really need it to be a shower? Can we actually use that space more efficiently? Um, you guys have been very busy with how much you <laughs> As you walk in, now we have the space and the room for this wide, gorgeous, very contemporary vanity. The top of the vanity, instead of being stone, it's actually wood, but it has layers and layers and layers of acrylic on top of it so that water will not hurt the top of this put in a privacy screen. We actually recessed behind the toilet an area where we could put a shelf and put this very pretty orchid. And one last thing that I failed to mention, the best part about this bathroom, this is an incredible, incredible faucet. But this sink is solid alabaster. This is mastic to the It's to mastic Oscar's to this thing. box, yes, that is keeps it, it, is it, it strong. Box? Absolutely, <laughs> it, 100%. It's fine. It's not, gonna fall not only that, it has a channel down here, a metal channel okay. that it fits on, that it sits on. Is so. the metal channel attached to anything? Or just... Nope, just, just good prayer. luck and prayers. I hope you enjoyed this video today and you've learned something about things you can do in some of those unthought about spaces, the connecting spaces. I mean, what about that baseboard, huh? And how about where that wall terminates so that the staircase could wrap around? That's one of my personal favorites. Before I go, let me remind you, the design sessions don't let me beat a dead horse. So click on the link below in the description box and it'll take you right to the design sessions. And by, by the way, let me just throw this in. See this color? This is primer, is that right, Oscar? Yes. So far it's primer, it's not the finished color, but look at this color and then come over here and look. They haven't done the office yet, so you can, um, can I look in here? Okay, you'll, you'll fix it. That's the other color. That, you know what that color is called? Smoker's Tea. Had to go. Thank you, Oscar. You're, you're not gonna get me all gross, right? Thank you, Alex. I think you guys are awesome. Bye guys, see you next time.